Sailor Moon Collectibles news and reviews. Hello everybody and happy June 30th. If you don't know why June 30th is important, I will tell you why. It is Sailor Moon's birthday and they just had an event in Japan today. Oh, by the way, we're unboxing the newest Pucci Petite figures. So they had an event in Japan today where they unveiled the trailer for the Sailor Moon movie, which should cover the dream arc. I will put the link in the description, but I will warn you, there is no animation in this trailer. It's just character designs. And you can let me know what you think of that, because I'm kind of thinking like, man, you know, like, you had 30 years to at least animate something. 30? Did I say 30? It feels like 30 years. You had three years to animate something, but instead, I mean, you'll click on the trailer, you'll know what I mean. Um, this box, though. Oh my god. So, long story short, I got this from Anime Osaka. I originally wasn't gonna get it, but, um... I saw the boxes at the Sailor Moon store while I was in Japan, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But I didn't want to have to travel with a big box like this. Because if you have ever traveled internationally with checked-in luggage, you're going to freak out about all your stuff. That doesn't mean I didn't bring anything back from Japan, by the way. Unfortunately, I brought so much that I haven't organized it yet. And if I turn the camera a little bit... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, see that mess, that terrible mess? It's all stuff I bought in Japan. So we're just not gonna talk about that until my next video. You know, traveling with anime goods is terrifying, especially if you're a collector and you want it all to be in pretty nice condition. Um, there's actually even more than what's on that desk because I took all the non-Sailor Moon figures I bought and I put them on my non-Sailor Moon bookshelves. We'll talk about that next time. Oh, that's cute. They have Usagi's little bunny. This is interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, do they come already put together? That's nice. So, what's the story behind these figures, you ask? These are real life yukatas that they made for the Sailor Moon store. I saw these in person. They look just like this picture. So if you saw this picture, you know what they look like. And they released a new Yukata version of Usagi and Chibiusa wearing two of the real life special edition Yukata. See, I didn't know about that when I originally saw that these were being released and I was all salty. I was like, oh no, it's more of the same. But actually, these are quite unique um, and I definitely changed my mind and I wanted them. Also, that box is amazing. Um, so let me open these up. I'm glad that they put them all together though and I don't have to pop the head in because if you've ever done that, it's sometimes very difficult. Looks good so far. We're just gonna free you. It's just two though. Um, they didn't do the rest of the Sailor Senshi in these real life Yukatas. Oh, she's got a Diana on it. That's cute. I really hope it's easy to put her on the stand. Let's find out. Oh, that's cute. It matches with her outfit. Uh, getting this in here is not always easy. Um, it tends to... Oh, there we go. It clicked right in. It depends on what set you bought. Some of them are really loose. Some of them are really hard. Um, and so far so good with these, I hope. I hope I'm not wrong as I try to fit this into her head. Uh, I'm not gonna force it anymore. I probably could, but I'm not gonna risk it. Look at that. I love the gradient pink to purple. That's super cute. Yeah, I definitely changed my mind after like hearing about them and seeing them in person. I decided. I want to own this. So, even me, I'll have an opinion about a Sailor Moon thing and eventually it changes. And hopefully that's the case with the Sailor Moon movie because, uh, honestly, I hope you already clicked on the teaser by now and uh, maybe you were as disappointed as me. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. 
and I hope it doesn't actually suck. Oh, the bunny. Oh, this makes it worth it for me. I wonder why. It's hard to film a YouTube video when you're staring at me from behind me. And you're a live audience. I don't like having a live audience. I refuse to have a live audience. I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay, so Sailor Moon movie. <laughs> this is still my initial reaction to it while I show you this absolutely adorable chibi figure. Um, they had three years and they just came up with clip art and the line work wasn't even vectorized. Um, <laughs> like, I am disappointed. Like, I work in an advertising agency and we can like animate things pretty easily. Um, maybe, you know, like give it like a, like a good three months to make a good product and uh, tell me you had three years, so I don't know what you're doing. This is so cute though. I hate trashing anything that's Sailor Moon, but the problem is that like people like me and probably you who are watching this will buy anything Sailor Moon. So for what reason does Toei have to make a good product? They don't because we just buy anything. Even if they lose money on the movie, they're gonna make mad bank if they make figures like these because uh, I'm buying them, you're buying them, I really hope I'm wrong and my opinion changes when they release like a proper trailer for the Sailor Moon movie. Because I've been wrong before. And I sure hope I'm wrong about this. Look at Asagi's little foot though. It looks like she's really stepping on the platform. It's so cute. Chibi Usa, maybe we can adjust that a little bit. Yeah, are you, is your foot touching now? I will be playing with these in my free time. These are so cute. So how are you supposed to... That's what I want to do. I gotta figure it out when I put it in my shelf. I like to take everything out of the box, but like honestly, like... These colors are everything. Like, can I just... I'm totally gonna try to do this in my bookshelf. I know I don't have enough space. But this box is everything. Let me give you a better view. Yeah, I am totally into these figures. Now that I know that those are real yukatas. These are um, special uh, edition. I'm not sure how limited they are. Um, I hope they're not too limited so you guys can get them. Um, again, I ordered mine from Anime Osaka because I just wasn't about carrying any collectibles with me. Except, here we go again. You see that entire season one laser disc set? My poor husband had to carry that in a backpack during our two weeks in Japan. So we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it in my vlog, tell you all about it. And uh, let me know what you think about that trailer in the comments once you see it. I really, really hope I'm wrong, but the initial impression is not good. But I definitely wanted to share these because these are super brand new and I am totally, totally in love with them. The stands are probably my favorite of the Poochie Petite line. I'm biased though because of the bunny, but oh, they're just too cute. If you don't even have a Sailor Moon collection, just get these. This is like enough. It's enough for me. So, yep, I'm Sailor Tortilla. I'll be coming back with a Japan vlog, tell you how it went, show you what I got, tell you all about the Sailor Moon Universal Attraction. Um, spoiler alert, if you're only going to Japan to go to the Sailor Moon Universal Attraction, it might not be worth it. Um, we'll talk about that later. Thanks for watching. I am Sailor Tortilla. You can follow me on Instagram for all the cool Sailor Moon news. And, um, yeah, have a nice, uh, June 30th, everyone.